Hello from Greece, the country where for thousands of years its people have been passionately close to the sea and breathe salty air. I am Katerina Kalitsis and I am collaborating with Planet Blue, a dive center owned by Kostas Toktaridis, a prominent diver. Planet Blue is one of the three members, along with Wings, ICT Solutions and Castel Orizo, that form the Greek pilot in the Horizon 2020 United Project. We represent the tourism sector. In this video, I shall brief you into what our role in the program is, what were the challenges we encountered and where we are standing now. The United Programme proposed to test in action a noticeable and daring idea, to intentionally bring different marine activities to share the same thalassic area. The paradigm would therefore shift from the concept of exclusivity of ocean use to that of ocean multi-use. For our dive centre, this meant that into our recreational scuba dive sites, we would include an area where another enterprise operated, and that was the fish farm of Castellorizo. Even though this inspiring idea sounds easy to emerge, it was not challenges free. Firstly, we had to check whether the legislation was allowing such a first-time activity. Then, we had to consider another seemingly trivial, but actually really important factor, that of the stress of the fish. As divers would be entering their territory, could their presence around the cages cause significant distress that could have a negative impact to their biological indexes and qualitative characteristics and or to their numbers? To that vital question, Wings ICT Solutions and Castellorizo came in, ran several tests and monitored key parameters. Thankfully, the results proved allowing. With these two green lights in hand, we began our field task. With our commercial diving boat and with the aid of our ROVs, sonar and USBL, we mapped the area and we created the ideal dive paths for both open water divers as well as the advanced ones. However, a third and thorny issue was waiting for us, the negative perception of the locals towards fish farms. Who isn't aware of the Greek fishermen in their traditional Kaikia boats, returning to some small idyllic port and selling directly to the locals fresh, wild fish? This picturesque image is well engraved in our collective heritage and for a significant part of the population, it is not easy to accept that fish can come from elsewhere. So the debate held well. Albeit the same people accept and consume red meat and poultry from similar mass production farms, they hold that aquacultures are considered extremely unhealthy for the fish, the humans that consume them and the surrounding environment. From our part, even though our contribution is a minuscule one, we did our utmost to educate our divers by providing concrete facts versus unsubstantiated rumours. We emphasised first at the uncontrolled free fishing, which in its attempt to cover for the continuous growth of demand in the Med is causing a catastrophe in the seas, and second, how fish farms apply practices that do contribute to the environment's protection. To accomplish this, we spent considerably more time before each dive for the briefing. We described what the aquaculture entails, how it works, and discussed their opinions on the subject. Most divers showed genuine interest in the info. However, some remained sceptical or, I should say, disbelieving. One idea which we think can play a pivotal role, especially to the negative perception, is to add in each tour the presence, either virtual or on site, of an expert marine biologist that can offer more concrete information on what is actually the case with a fish farm and answer all concerns. During the pre-dive meeting, we also had to overstress the safety parameter for this diverse dive site. Here, I would like to mention that all our dive guides are also dive masters and dive instructors trainers with certifications of all specialties. 
Each one has more than 1,000 hours of experience, whereas some even exceed 5,000 hours. Coming to the end of last year's recreational scuba diving season, and after two COVID summers, we happily witnessed a steady growing preference for this fish farm dive, as well as unexpectedly high numbers of satisfied participants. Concluding, the roadmap provided by the Patroclos project can undeniably be rolled out to other suitable areas in the Aegean and the Ionian Sea, where warm seas favour both aquaculture and scuba diving. For the time being, at just an hour away from the centre of Athens, we offer this unique and delightful dive. Divers submerge in ecological richness, and as a plus, they enjoy the company of dolphins and tunas, rendering the experience into a memory to treasure. Thank you for your time, and we hope to see you in Greece and in our dive centre.